Hey, Miss W here, gonna show you how to find a missing side using trig. Okay, so I've got this first example and the directions say round to the nearest tenth. So if you remember, the first thing you have to do is identify your opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. <clears throat> Excuse me. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So cosine is ka adjacent over hypotenuse. And then tangent is toa, opposite over adjacent. So the first thing you do on triangle one here is identify your O, A, and H. So across from the right triangle is always my H. They give me this degree, 42. What always connects the hypotenuse, the adjacent, that's right. So that means that the 14 has to be my opposite. So now seeing that, this is where you have to just figure out what's trig function. They give me an X, which is my H, and a 14, which is my O. There's nothing here to use, so I'm gonna just not even use the A. So I look at my trig functions and see which ones have an O and an H. So, so, and that's it, so sine. So I set this function up like this. I'm gonna take my sine and my degree, and I'm gonna set it equal to my O over H. My opposite is 14, my H is my X. Now I'm solving for X, so you just have to do basic algebra here now. So you have to multiply both sides by X, so I have x sine 42 equals 14. I need x by itself. So this one is a little bit more work. I need this x by itself. So I'm going to get rid of my multiply sine 42 by dividing by sine 42. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. All right, so I have x, and then I'm going to enter this into my desmos. So if I can remember, I'm gonna make sure that I'm in degree mode, going to my wrench, degree mode. And my trig function is sine 42, I forgot what it was, I gotta look back. Sorry, I tried to remember it. It's 14 divided by sine 42, sorry. I can't remember those things. So 14 divided by sine 42. And I'm rounding to the nearest tenth, so I can see I have uh, 20.9. So going back to my original problem, x is 20.9. So 20.9. Okay. So that's not so hard, but of course I'm going to do some a few more with you so you get the hang of it. Let's move over to this one here. So again, um, you've got Sokotoa, and I'm just going to write Sokotoa this time. So you have your cheat sheet with you, hopefully, or you have this printed out, what I told you to print out. So I'm going to identify my O, A, and H. So always across from my right triangle is my hypotenuse. This is my angle. So what touches the angle arc besides the hypotenuse? It's right, the adjacent, meaning that this other side, the X, has to be my O. All right, so again, I'm going to look and see what it gives me. I have no value with my A, so that's not going to help. I have a value with an X. An X is my O, and a 14 is my H. So this is also going to be sine. This time the degree is 26. Right here, the 26 equals opposite, which is X, over hypotenuse, which is 14. Now this is a little bit different than the one before because now my X is up top. So how do you get rid of a divide by 14? You multiply both sides by 14. So I have 14 sine 26 equals x. So I'm going to put this into decimals. Hopefully I can remember that. 14 sine 26. So now I'm going to do 14, and I'm just going to type in sine. I don't need to put um, I don't need to put the um, times, and I can see that I get 6.1 as my value there. So x equals 6.1 equals x. So I'm going to do two more with you and I'm going to speed up just a little bit. You can slow this video down if you need to. Um, 
I, I know you guys don't like long videos. So identifying my sides. Always opposite is my H. This is my angle 52. Always touching that angle is my H and my A. And then this would be my O. I look to see what values they give me. I don't have anything with the O, so I've got an A and an H. The trig function that has an A and an H is cosine. So I set this up, cosine 52, A is 14 over X. So now again, I have to solve for X. So I multiply this side by X and this side by X. So I have X cosine 52 equals 14. Now I need to get X by itself, so I gotta divide the cosine 52 what I do to one side, I do to the other. These will cancel out, so I'll have x equals, so 14 divided by cosine 52. So I'm gonna do 14 divided by cosine 52, and I get 22.3 as my value, and 22.3. And if you need to rewind or stop this and go over it, that's fine. And one more for you. I want you to really get the hang of it. And if you see, I have to identify, you have to identify your O, A, and H. Opposite the right angle is H. Here's the angle they're talking about. So I am always touching the angle is my H and my A. So this has to be my opposite. What trig function uses O, H? That's sine. So opposite over hypotenuse. So sine, the degree. 30, oops, not, hang on, not 36, it's, oops, pencil, do, 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 do. oops, that was, okay, so did you like my sound effects? Sine 39 equals opposite is 12 over x. How do you get rid of x? You multiply both sides by x, so I have x sine 39 equals 12, Divide by sine 39 to get x by itself. Do Got to do it to the other side, too. So x equals, okay, 12 divided by sine 39. So I've got 12 divided by sine 39. And I get 19.1, 19.1 as my value there. So x equals 19.1. So that is how you find a missing side. Label, label, label your O, A, and H. O, A, and H. Then find which trig function fit, fits what they give you. Which trig function? Ratio. Sine, cosine, or tangent. And then just fill in the blanks.